there in your corner. To. It's mathematically near impossible that Type 3 civilizations exist. It's more likely that a Dyson Sphere has been created and implemented by a Type 2 civilization. KLG Community Radio. I have one comment to make. I read that NASA has plans to create a Dyson Sphere. Yeah, okay, and if you believe that, you're an idiot. Keep your calls coming through to Tom's terrestrial tabloid. I have a joke for you all. Einstein developed a theory about space. And it was about time, too. You're on Tom's terrestrial tabloid. Regarding the Fermi paradox, you feel that the great filter is ahead of us. It must be. It, it's, it's primitive thinking to believe that Earth is, is special or one of a kind, so yes, it has to be. Well, with significant unknown variables, isn't it just as likely the great filter is behind us? We haven't found life. No life. Not even a smidgen of life anywhere else in the universe. So, so yes, it has to be. In all honesty, I find the notion of a great filter unsound and find it much more likely that physical colonisation is a backwards concept to a more advanced species. Oh, look, there is a great filter. There has to be. There's no other viable option. Unless there's plenty of noise and activity out there. But our technology is too primitive. We seem to have lost the caller. And that looks like it's a wrap for another week on Tom's Terrestrial Tabloid. So be sure to subscribe to the podcast. Of course, follow me on all your social media. And remember, watch the skies. my pleasure to share with you all the potential of what this can do. Uh, for those who are new, I'm working on alternative spectrums of communications, specifically dark radiation. It is theorised that dark radiation can Sorry. offer up... George, the slide. Here. Yeah. Well, oh, no, I've got it. Um, OK. OK. So, I was saying that dark radiation is theorised to have a whole new spectrum I've been developing the hardware that will hopefully create and isolate dark matter materials in a vacuum. Correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't this what we saw last year? Um, well, 
This... If this can be developed... Hang on. If... The issue we have is that you still don't have anything. Mock-ups, beta versions... I don't understand the potential. But the communications industry, we can't bank on a potential return ten years away. We tried getting someone in to work with you, even... No, that wouldn't work. We're not renewing your contract. We've wasted ten years on this already. But, hey, I managed to talk them into allowing you to continue to research on this IP in your own time. But just remember, we own the rights once you crack it. We still want this to work. Need this I to work. I hate to say it, but I did warn you about this last year. <sighs> I don't know, George. Maybe find something new. Lots of people find something meaningful to do in old age. told me 20 years ago that you never wanted to set foot in a classroom again. Have you looked at finding a, another backer? Not really. The IP is theirs anyway. You've worked so hard to get this far. It'd be a shame to throw it all away now. Besides, retirement is not all it's cracked up to be. I just read an entire book about ants. Amazingly complex. You know, there's these explorer ants. Usually they get killed. But they're necessary for the advancement of the whole colony. I feel like I've wasted my life. Mounted to nothing. Look. George, look at me. I know you. You'll be okay. You will find your way. I don't know. at the park Thursday. Same time. Shit, I see. It's our mistake. Doesn't surprise me. What? Surprise me. Well, let's see what we can find for you. What's your area? Science, computer technology. Got a couple of history classes I can give you? The half day. Sorry for the mistake. Just one of those things. Nice right, and quiet, please. The rules say if you're not here in the first 10 minutes of class, then it's cancelled. Yeah, class is cancelled. Well, my watch says it was meant to start eight minutes ago. I'm sorry, I'm late. Girl with the red hair. Did you just call me girl with the red hair? I need you all to listen up. Hey. Hey. Don't touch me. I'm going to report you. That's right. Walk away. I thought you were here for the whole day. Nope. I'm done.
Frage. someone on the other side of the room that you want to communicate with, but you have no hope of hearing them above all the noise. So, what do you do? Well, you take off the blindfold. You communicate using your eyes, another sense. That's essentially what I'm doing. I'm creating a whole other way that we can communicate. Gamma rays, X-ray, UV, they're all dangerous to us. My research is looking at the very real possibility of there being another spectrum entirely untapped, that is much larger than the electromagnetic spectrum. So, if my mobile phone uses microwaves, could I use it to heat up my food? So far, my research has been funded by a private company. Austell. Your, your university is perfectly positioned. I'm sold. I was sold before you walked in. Let's just say I do my homework. Of course, the university would own the complete intellectual rights to this property. And you do own the rights. Of course. It'll be a 12-month contract with quarterly progress reports. 12 months? Consider it a trial. What would you expect me to accomplish in one year? Of course, you can continue teaching if you'd prefer. Trudy and the family, I would like to welcome you all here today to this service of remembrance for Graham. In speaking with Trudy this week, she reminded me that Graham was the kind of person who did well at whatever he put his hand to. We're here today, of course, to mourn his loss. At the same time, we want to remember his good qualities. Each of us has only one life to live. We each need to think about our legacy. In what way is the world a better place as a result of our own contribution? What will we remember Graham for having left behind? I'm in. I thought you would be. There's one other thing. I know you like to work alone, but I think it will be wise. With all due respect, I am grateful, but it really is just a one-man. Sorry, George, but that's the... But I am someone who works best alone. Call him your intern. Plus, given the eight years of work to get where I am... Those are the terms. I... Who do you have in mind? <laughs> The paper board, also known as the Chinese takeout box, was invented in what country? Uh, I think it was the United States. Not China? No, I'm pretty sure it was the US. Uh, 
I don't know. I've never had Chinese takeout before. Really? Well, I'm not Chinese. <laughs> well, maybe we should try it sometime. Why would they call it Chinese? It doesn't even make any sense. OK, this calls for sudden death between Team Tom and Co. And uh, better late than pregnant. OK, so if you guys could please choose a representative from your table and have them come up front, thank you. OK, sudden death. Uh, the first team to get this wrong is out. OK, an easy one to start off with here. Is gravity a force that pushes objects apart or pulls them together? Uh, no, help from the floor, please. What's your answer? Pulls them. Right. Uh, it's neither. OK. One of these teams is correct, which means that was the uh, final question for this evening. So, can we have a drum roll, please? The answer is... It pulls them together. <sighs> no. Well done, guys. Get your vouchers. No, wait, you're wrong. Yeah. Chill out, man. Gravity is not a force, it's a consequence of space-time. Mate, I don't write what's on the cards. Stop, listen to me. The mass bends the space-time around it. Yeah, take it easy, mate. Einstein proved it. Hey, mate, just take mine. I don't care about that. It's not about that. You guys were wrong. I was right. Look, you just have to accept what was on the cards. It's done. It's over. I'm not coming back. Uh, I, I can get you a voucher if you want. Wait, just calm down. I have a radio show. Radio show? Yeah, it's really good. I call it Tom's Terrestrial Tabloid. It's quite intelligent. I see. Budding celebrity scientist. Yeah. Yeah, I'll most likely have my own TV show at some point. World tours, books, websites, that sort of thing. Interesting. I have two PhDs. One PhD was enough for me. I suppose that makes me more educated than you. So this is it? What have we got here? The transmitter and the receiver. Who's Graham? An old friend. You work together? This is where I get stuck. I can't get this damn thing to send the signal from the transmitter to the receiver. transmission of the signal from the transmitter to the receiver. And the end game? It will completely change how we communicate with each other. Email, text, video calls, all outdated. Instantly. If this simple signal can be sent between these two machines, then we have proven that dark radiation exists. What information's in the signal? It's a sine wave. Instant and near infinite data transfer between any two devices. If we can do it, the license on the tech would have to be billions, right? Maybe. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. The maths checks out. It's not stable. Then push it harder. you don't put this on the radio or anywhere else. Not until we know what we have. I found your U-2 
YouTube channel. It'll grow. I've only just started. Six subscribers. Any attention's better than none. You have to take it down. What? Why? Take it down. We don't know what we have yet. What do you mean, it worked? We need more testing. Don't be ignorant. This is science. Just take it down, all right? All right. It can't be from anything else, right? So let's try again. Hang on. Do I know this? I once estimated the curvature of the universe using the predicated matter density at the time. This should give us the ability to send a dark radiation signal the distance required from the transmitter to the receiver. Try that. You know, you should have introduced us, Tom. All right, uh, let's start. Did you hear about Marion's uh, new book? Here? It got read by Penguin. Said it should get picked up. Kind of a big deal. Yeah, but uh, you haven't signed any contracts yet. Well, no, not yet. You know, I'm uh, I'm working on some pretty interesting stuff at the moment. Oh yeah, you've got that internship, haven't you? Well, I hope you're going to give you a well-paying job at the end of it. It's not about the money. Well, I'm just saying you have to be responsible. You've got other people to think of. You know, this work I'm doing at the moment, it's, uh, it's pretty big. Do you remember when Tom made that watch and he stuck the speaker to it? Do you remember that from the microphone? <laughs> when he did that? Hello. <laughs> Hello. He never did get that earpiece happening, did he? <laughs> Everyone walking around with their wrists stuck in their ears. Hello, hello, I, I, I can't hear you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Just take a joke, Tom. You know what I don't get? How you all support Marion and her little book writing thing, which, let's be honest, is probably going to go nowhere. Tom! I mean, how many writers are out there thinking they're going to break through? But none of you, not a single one of you, know anything about what I'm doing. You've always thought that you were better than us and smarter than us. Yeah. Because I am. Come on, let's go. So, what's the announcement strategy? Well, I think I'll hold off on that for a bit. I've had some stuff published online before. As I just said... I'm just... I'm saying, what's the point if we just keep it to ourselves? What's your plan? The proper procedures, Tom. We continue testing. We cross-check. Make sure all claims are backed with multiple verified sources of first-hand results. We get an independent third party to verify that we do it right. And eventually, we release it into a journal. A journal? We are up... For what, three academics to read? No, fuck that. It's outdated and everything gets leaked online before announcement these days. At the moment, we have control over how this story gets shared. I have a strategy that'll give us maximum exposure. Hold up, hold up! This isn't a publicity stunt. All we've been able to do so far is send and receive a signal two metres across the room. Anything we claim, respected scientists are going to try and prove wrong. We must be watertight, and they will come at it from every angle. Well, fuck them. No, Tom, we don't. We could sell what we have to a tech company right now for millions. Let me tell you a story. The stories suck. Well, you're going to listen. I spent six years working at Whitcom. We developed wireless charging for mobile devices, batteries, phones, prototypes. We had them. And then my partner, my... He took pictures. He posted them online. The media mocked how they looked because they were ugly prototypes. So we rushed the launch. We didn't do enough testing. The batteries caught fire. Over 20 people got third degree burns. They only spent three months on the shelves. So no, I am not going to rush this.
You finished calibrating. Exactly what happened. Uh, well, I'm writing down the... You're recording. What happened? Well, I was about to shut down the receiver and I just angled it this way and it was facing the window and then all... Don't touch it! across the sky, so tonight's the test to see if we can track this moving signal. Now we wait. Tell me, you have a lot of education. How is it that you haven't found the right vocation yet? I don't really do well with people. I mean, you're okay. Your positives outweigh your negatives, but most people, they just get in my way. My second PhD, they tried to stop me. I was trying to disprove Einstein. Could you? It's a tough man to beat. For me, I always wanted to contribute some kind of way. Some say they find that in having kids. I have a son. We don't really have much contact. Nothing happened, we just... We just don't talk. I guess at some point this work just became more important to me. You found what was more important. There'll always be plenty of people, but not many worth remembering. Clear line of sight. Receiving. We found it. We found the source. Who are they? First of all, I need 100% assurance that this conversation stays between us. Of course. If I gave you a code, a signal, a waveform, could you decipher it?
think there might be a story. I really think the newspapers are going to be really interested in this. Wow. Hello. So, Can I help you? Hi, I'm Monique. George, what brings you here? I saw a clip of Tom's, actually, of some really cool science stuff. It looks really interesting. I think there might be a story here. Actually, I'd prefer we didn't. Oh, maybe we can find another time that suits all of us. We don't have much to report on at the moment, but if you want to leave your name and details. Look, if, if you're willing, I'd be really excited to write something up on my website. I'm sorry, I didn't catch who you work for. I, I freelance to various media outlets. As I said, we'll let you know. What was that about? I don't know, she just dropped by. What was she doing here? I said I don't know. What did you tell her? I didn't say anything. She said you were telling her about... I didn't say anything specific. I was, I was just using big words she wouldn't understand. Until she Googles them. Not a word to anybody. Understand? So here it is. It's intelligent. Given the nature of what we're dealing with, we need to be sensitive with what we share with other people. So it would be better for everyone if you fill this in. What's this? University requirements. Have you signed one? It's a little different for me, given that it was my project to begin with. I'll have a look over it and get back to you. I might get you to fill that in right now, if you don't mind. There's another favour I need to ask you. I need the lab to myself for a few days. Why? Just to do some coding. I can stay out of your way. I'll just put my headphones in. I can't have you here. I can't say any more than that. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Alicia. Tom's girlfriend? Oh, is he here? I let him knock off early. Oh, he didn't tell me. I bought Chinese takeaway. Oh, well, uh, I'll find him at home, I guess. Uh, I heard Monique drop by today. The journalist? Hopefully one day. Someone gives her a job. Tom knows her? Yeah, since high school. You know, he really loves it here. Is that right? It's all he ever talks about. He'd never admit it, but he actually really respects you. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> That's very kind of you. Anyway, <laughs> bye.
reporter seemed nice. Yeah, I guess. You haven't heard from her again? No. Tom, I know you know her. What? Let me make one thing positively clear. We have something truly extraordinary. And it is just you and me who have it. We need to be absolutely prudent with our handling of this. If we make one wrong move, we jeopardise everything. How long do you expect me to wait? We have received 50 terabytes of information never before heard by anyone in the history of humankind. Hold on. All we have is a scattered signal of white noise. Right? I have something to show you. Holy fuck. Yep. Everything about the universe. Quantum mechanics, inorganic chemistry, metaphysics, everything. And we are only getting started. You kept this from me? You want to talk about trust and honesty and confidence? Don't start. I have to go, but we can talk more about this when I get back. You know, there are others out there researching this too. What do you mean? We're not the only ones. Monique told me about some group in Belgium that are exploring this too. Except they don't have stable dark radiation yet. It's not a race. But we can talk more when I get it back. It is a race. No one's going to care if we come second. And you're just casually holding the... Do, do you know what... I just can't fucking believe you wouldn't tell me and you're just sitting on this like no one could beat us to it. Well, you're not helping with that radio show either. This is fucked. It's pretty mind-blowing. And it makes me wonder, did all the greatest scientists know what they had when they made their discoveries? I mean, did they really grasp what they had and what to do with it? That's what we've got to figure out. Anyway, that's a wrap for Tom's Terrestrial Tabloids, so be sure to subscribe to the podcast, follow me on all your social media, and remember, watch the skies. I found something. I got mice. Perfect. And what are we going to teach him, Professor X? Problem solving skills. And what does that look like in mice? I honestly don't know. It's definitely reversible, isn't it? Theoretically, we can extract the information. Here we go. is to get this information out to as many people as possible. Right now, you have no followers. <laughs> you have, I have been doing all the right things. You know, I, I post at the right times, I hashtag, I'm across all different social media channels. It's, it's just not working. I can help you with that, I promise. That's what I'm here for. So, um, what's Elisa up to? 
She's working, I think. Is she the type of person that would be weird about this? About what? You know, us hanging out alone. Mm -hmm. I would really love to write this story. Give me a chance to put my uni debt to use. You really want it, don't you? Give me something to write about. Okay, so just a small amount of data to begin with. Only 0.3 megabytes. It shouldn't have too much of a meaningful effect. Short black. Tea. You ordered a herbal tea. Let me see. Lemongrass, snow, peppermint, chamomile, dandelion, ginger. You ordered a ginger tea. Well, you'll have to wait and see. What's happened is you've experienced some success which has increased your confidence, therefore allowing you the mental freedom to take risks, even if it's as minute as sampling an untried hot beverage. Do you ever wonder how what you do affects other people around you? 100 years after you were dead. No one will know you. Tom. The internet. What? That's why we have the internet. Did you take? Thank you. Can you imagine what we could do with this information? We own the first recorded signal from an intelligent life. We could cure diseases, we could achieve time dilating space travel, teleportation, immortality. Maybe. But that doesn't mean we should. They say, a thousand errors for one success. Going through all the necessary processes. A thousand errors. Is that a science term? I don't know. I thought it was well known. I guess not. And Tom? How's he doing? Working well between you two? He's been very useful. Provided valuable insight and help. Two heads are better than one. Tell me, why did you assign Tom as opposed to anyone else? He's been at the university in some way, shape or form for a while now. We recognised his brilliance even back when he was an undergrad. I was a little worried we might lose him. And you needed someone to work with. 
looking at the world around me that no one gets it. No one can see the true reality of what's going on or their role within it. I look around at the world and all I see are... I wouldn't even call them machines. Machines at least are intentionally designed and serve a purpose. People are purely acting out the actions based upon their physical makeups. Free will can finally be put to rest. Cause and effect explains it all. Complete determinism. But their idea of cause and subsequent effect is infantile at best. The role they play is no longer necessary. These machines are obsolete. Everyone's actions are merely a result of something. And now, I understand my role in this system. Got something to show you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wrong. Einstein was wrong. Where were you? I was with Monique. Now, my book. I'm about to share with you the secrets of the universe that will revolutionise your worldview. We live in a universe of 29 dimensions defined by the path integral quantization of the two dimensional actions of a conformal field. The field in the worldview describes the embedding of the string in 28 plus 1 space time dimensions. I will then prove to you that we live in a multiverse in which the physical world, specifically the level 3 multiverse, is a mathematical structure. Thank you. 
excuse me. Oh. You cheating fuck! You thought you'd get away with it and we'd never know? Hang on a second. You fired me. I haven't sold anything. I'm just... You know you could go to jail. You gave our IP to the university. You need to come in and fix this, George, now. All right. Let me sort it out and I'll get back to you. Have a good show. I'll tune in. Oh, you've just missed Tom. He's gone to do his radio show. Has Tom told you? He doesn't tell me much. Yeah, I figured he wouldn't tell you, so... We're separating. Oh. It's <sighs> perfect timing, right? What's the issue? Sorry, I shouldn't have asked. Yeah, I shouldn't have said anything. Just go easy on him. He's gonna need someone like you. Bye, George. another caller. You remember that form you signed? George. Yep. A non-disclosure agreement? Uh, perhaps you had a science question. No. You do realise that you are not meant to talk about anything about our research to anyone? Yes. Even your girlfriend? Her eyes just glaze over at this stuff anyway. And online? Obviously. Or on YouTube? Let me send you a link to something I found in our... Uh, let's go to another song, shall we? Why would you do that to me? Did you get my email? Can you see me? You streaming lab cam now? You've broken the contract that you just signed. You've broken the law. The university is going to take you to court. You have completely jeopardised the integrity of our work. I am not going to let you squander it away, Tom. I am not going to let you ruin my life's work. George, listen to me. I'm sorry, OK? But if you take this to the university and tell them we'll lose the whole thing, you will lose everything. No one sees these videos. Trust me, no one watches them. I was just so frustrated that you were sitting on this. Keep them deleted.
guess. There is no formal statement from the university. Discredit the author, find out how this got out and make sure Tom and George don't talk. What can you tell me? Well, at 2.38 this morning, a recent graduate of our university made a post on her personal website titled, Local Scientists Discover Intelligent Alien Message. Usually this wouldn't be a problem, except she tweeted and emailed all major media outlets across the world. Again, this wouldn't be a problem, except a reporter at one of them, Hans Blatt in Germany. Fucking Germans. Is a former member of SETI, search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Shit. Shall I continue? They ran the story almost identically to what was originally written. Then another in Finland, within three hours, it was across 28 major me... No, hold on. That's 103 major media outlets. And to be honest, I'm surprised it took so long for you to be contacted. Shall we begin? As you're all aware, our university has a long-standing history of pushing the edges of discovery and the support we provide to creative researchers. One of these projects has recently garnered a lot of interest, and as usual, speculation and rumor has been spread by the media. So today we're going to set the record straight. I'd like to introduce our Honorable Chancellor to tell you more. Thank you, Shannon. These two scientists are researching dark radiation, a term which is new to the scientific community with very little known about it. Now, before I make you all aware of my ignorance, I'd like to hand it over to Dr. West to tell you more about their research. Thank you. I've been working at the university with my partner here, Tom Edsman, for the past eight months. The uh, area in which we are researching is dark radiation. No questions for now. I have been researching this area for over nine years, but it seems that in the last little while, things have gotten out of hand. The difficulty then is that there has been wild speculation spread by the media. We are excited by the possibilities, but there is definitely nothing to announce. We are still a long way away with our process, years away such as the scientific method. The woman who first wrote the story on her personal blog is not a credible source. And her quotes from Mr. Edsman are completely falsified. Is that true, Tom? Scientific breakthroughs are not scandals. But we do believe that in due course, we will be able to Can announce- Can you tell us anything about the research you've accomplished to date? As we said before, no, we I, are- I want to hear from the scientists themselves, thanks. On the 3rd of June, I received a signal from space, which was transmitted by a highly intelligent life form. This signal contains information which we have recorded for some time. What Tom is trying to say is that... We recorded approximately 11 petabytes, and we're on track to gather more information than the total collective knowledge of all of humankind. This information can be transplanted into organisms. I know because I've done it to myself. This is unsubstantiated and completely falsified. <laughs>
what happened with being honest with each other. It's 0 0.034 seconds slow. George! Let's just take a minute, shall we? Just checking. Have yourself a good day. Rough day. Rough day. George, it's important you do not take, tamper with, or do anything with our property. Who's taking over? No one knows what we've been doing here. I built this. You know, I was glad when Tom blew it. One might even think we put him up to it. You can't even talk to anyone about this. Bullshit. You don't own my ideas, my thoughts, my knowledge. Your contract, George. Maybe you need me to remind you what you signed. This is ridiculous. George! We need to know that you're not going to talk. It's all gone, Graham. I've got nothing left. I've taken everything. I've got nothing left to show. <laughs> I don't want it to all have been for nothing. Deceived me, made me break the law without knowing. Hang on a second. You made me work with that kid. We are facing a lawsuit. And given that it was me who supported you, I've been fired. You're a disgrace, George. You can wait. Get it.
me. You're good, George. I forgot how good you are. What are you saying? Is this an apology? Not an apology. You fucked up. Real bad. Selling them our IP. Fraud. Jail, probably. I was always good to you. But hey, I got good news, which you don't deserve. We're offering you a position to come back and finish what you started. This is your project, your life's work. We've been pushing your tech harder than you ever did, but we're stuck. The side effects of our test subjects are unpredictable. Side effects? That's where we need you, George. I'll give you the money, the resources you need, however you want it. But we keep it quiet, because if you go down, I go down with you. Deal. You've taken 453 breaths since coming inside. You want some water? Six to eight breaths per minute for optimum performance. You should slow down. Pure H2O can kill you. Tom. suggest this was a coordinated group suicide. Those involved were not part of a wider network. The identity of those involved is suppressed, but we can confirm this. The number of victims at this stage? Five. According to a source, the victims had been subject to experimentations, but at this stage, that's speculation. A friend of one of the victims described the deceased as private and hardworking, but increasingly antisocial. There have been reports of some victims displaying uncharacteristic tendencies, like erratic and trance-like behaviour, social disengagement, talking to themselves, and unprovoked assaults on family. 
Tom, wake up. We're going. Come on. Come on. I'm sure you're all aware by now that I've burnt your lap down. <laughs> but I also know that those suicides trace back to you. I guess we're out of style, mate. Goodbye, Paul.
so sorry. I was lost and confused and I didn't know what I was doing. But I do now. I'm here. And I'm ready for this. Are we good to go?